I'm just worried that I'm gonna like slip because I can't feel my feet. <laughs> Good freaking morning you guys it's early it's like six and we're in the gym because we've decided with so much going on that if we don't work out first thing it doesn't get done those mirrors look so sexy i'm so glad they finished those we just got to put away the place now what could we have over here what are you doing so i released oh man coach hutton's getting it coach hutton's getting it so today's a little back day. Today is another crazy day. I'm buying a boat. Yeah, I'm buying a boat. That's gonna be crazy, but we have to go out and test it. The only problem is it's like 30 degrees. We're gonna go surf behind a boat at 30 degrees. The water is cold enough to kill you. All right, if you guys didn't see it in that shot, here's today's back workout. Everything is two seconds eccentric. We're warming up with close grip pull downs. We got three working sets, 14 to 18, pretty much on everything. Um, close grip pull downs, T bar rows, assisted pull ups, incline dumbbell rows, and then we got our super set. 12 sets of 14, barbell rack pulls and dumbbell pull overs. So, higher volume day today, two seconds on that eccentric. conditioning segment. Coach Hutton just let me know the first thing we're doing is what? 300 yard shuttle. 300 yard shuttle. If you guys have never done that, it sucks big time. What else are we doing? We'll go 20 tire hits. 15. 1500 pound. 125. 125. 125 pound med balls. Med ball cleans. Okay. This is gonna really really suck. Condition. Get in, get out, get on with your day. It's about 7 a.m. now. Jake's going first, I'm following lead. 300 yard shuttle, tire slams, wall balls, over the shoulder 125 pounds. Each one of these lengths is 30 yards. I guess we got down and back is one. So we got 10 total. So down and back is one. So we either have five of those or 10 lengths total. If you can make your workout the hardest thing you're gonna do all day and have that mindset going out of into your workout and coming out of it knowing that you got through your workout you can get through anything that oh, it's brutal it's a 300 meter shuttle 10 tire slams each side so 20 total and then it's 100 pounds we started off 125 100 pounds over the shoulder 10 of them it's gonna be the hardest part of my day. I wanted, I wanted to quit. You make it so hard that you wanna quit and you get through it. So many time during your day that you wanna quit, you remember that you're able to get through it. You were able to get through that time in the morning when you wanted to quit, but you didn't. And it could be any time of the day. It's good to have a partner that just kicks your ass. They're there to push you, make you better. It's good to have that person because they don't really, they don't really know how strong you are. You're gonna quit first before someone else lets you quit. So that man right there. Real deal. 
All right, guys, let's go test drive a boat. We gotta get in the water. We're gonna do some wake surfing. We're buying a boat today. Let's go check it out. What? I'm in a full, I'm in my like heavy duty winter coat. It's 40, it's under 45 degrees out here. The wind's howling. I got this rope here, why? We're test driving a boat today. We're gonna get behind it. We're gonna do some wake surfing. Brought the wetsuit. We're gonna test it out. It's a new Malibu. Um, you live in St. George, you need a boat. We're gonna have an awesome summer, I guarantee you that. So if you guys come out for fitness culture events, you might even get a chance to go on this boat. I've never bought a boat before, so I have no idea what kind of questions I'm asking. Luckily, I brought some friends along that know boat. Oh, this thing is sick. So this is the 25 foot Malibu wake setter. I'm telling you what, there probably wouldn't be a whole lot of boats that we could surf behind today, but I'm thinking even with the wind and the choppy water, we're gonna get an awesome, awesome wake out there. Look at that setup. This is your kind of your main screen. So say if I want to surf the right side, turn my cruise yeah. control on, set my speed. Gotcha. And then this is a cool part. So these are your ballast tanks, the hard ones built ah. in. So what I can do, I can get picky and say, I want these two, so clear those. I want these two, these three at 100%. And I only want this one at 25%. So it just changes the shape and everything of the uh -huh. wake. So, and then I can stop all, I can drain all, all That's from. It's so easy. It's like almost idiot proof. Uh -huh. And then here's. Which is great for me. So you got ramp mode. And then as I, it goes down, I can go all the way into vert. Okay. And then, so as you progress and get comfortable, then you can start adding ballast weight. And then, you know, kind of progress that way instead of going into this monster. Right. You know, thing. Just falling as you're climbing up that mountain on the, exactly. on the front side of that thing. Yeah. Good thing I suck at surfing, but these two. They're good. We got my man Trev here. I don't know about that. Trev's a professional. We got Scott here. No, Scott's a professional. <laughs> and I will be lucky if I can let go of the rope. What is the water temp? You ready? 53. 53 degrees? You That's can die that, from hypothermia That's today. warm. That's warm. 53 degrees. Just do it. Bro, when we go to Lake Powell in the summertime, how hot is it? How hot does it get at Lake Powell? 75. <laughs> Go watch a video on hypothermia. You can get hypothermia in any water under 56 degrees. It's a fact that I just made up. <laughs> oh. oh, hold up now. Is that country? I like it. How cold are you right now? Not cold at all. That's not what you're supposed to okay, say. I'm Let's do it. After you jump in the water, we'll ask you that again. I'm suited and booted. Shout out to uh, Roca. This was the wetsuit I uh, did the triathlon and actually was swimming here in one of my videos, but I've never wake surfed in it. So hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Oh, my nipples are gonna be so hard right now. Don't I blame you for that. Yeah. What's up? I'm feeling like Aquaman right now. We're gonna throw this onto the surfboard. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. The last time we tried this, it was lost in Lake Powell because this part, didn't actually make it float. All right, let's rock and roll. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.
lake I've ever surfed on. Usually I would not be able to move and I have to, I usually have to be super close to the boat. So the thing I'm noticing how long that, that wake stays pretty and nice. And even when I felt like I was gonna fall out of it, um, if I knew how to pump at all, I would have been right back into it on that last one. I'm so freaking excited to get this boat, I'm gonna jump in the water. Oh, why am I doing this? Should I throw a, should I throw a backflip? Problem is, I don't know if I can throw a backflip because my feet are so numb. You ready? Don't drop it. We're gonna have a lot. What's that? Don't drop it. I can, it's floaty. Oh yeah. We know. We hope it's floaty. Last time we did this with a GoPro, it's it ended up at the bottom leg pile somewhere. I'm just worried that I'm gonna like slip because I can't feel my feet. <laughs> not, worth, not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, seriously, like you know, you know when uh, like a dog that doesn't want to get in the water, you like throw it in. It's like, <sighs> yeah, I couldn't feel anything. <sighs> I feel like I need to throw the back flip, but I honestly can't feel anything. We talked about recovery before. If you guys go back and watch my video called, This Is What Winners Do. I'm getting ready for a show and I'm super sore. And what we do is we literally get into a hot tub that's been turned into a cold tub. So they put ice in there. That hot tub was right around, well that cold tub, if you're like an NFL athlete and you go into a cold tub, those are right around 49 degrees. This was 50 what, what did we say? 50, 53 degrees. So the recovery that we're getting from here, that's why we did it. I'm gonna feel great tomorrow. All the working out I've been doing this week, this, this whole day was really just a recovery day. Jumping in an ice cold lake. Woo! We're gonna have a great time guys. Next year, boating, St. George, it's gonna be amazing. Make sure you guys thumbs up and subscribe for jumping in the lake. Love you guys.